What's up guys, it's Cal with Blacklisted. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys my setup that I have in my little trailer, okay? Um, I know I haven't done any content in a while, so this is me coming back and hopefully I'll have a little bit more um, footage for you guys to see. All right, so one quick story. Um, when you guys are actually looking for what it is that you guys wanna do, you need to set up your budget, okay? The most important thing is for you not to go over your budget. You don't want to start something where you're already in debt. Um, there's tons of companies that offer trailers like this that are just completely decked out, 5,000, 10,000, um, a lot of cash. Uh, but I do remember watching Shark Tank once and uh, there was a quote that Mark Cuban said, is that when you start a business, don't take out a huge loan, you know, because you're gonna start owing something okay so the best thing for you to do is start your business with whatever you can save up with whatever you can use whatever it you can so that when you do start your business the first thing that you start doing is you start making profit okay um, everything else can come along the way uh, as you get better as you get more successful more work things will be a lot different all right but let's get into the trailer now thanks All right guys, so another important thing about setting your budget is knowing when to spend or not spend. Um, the trailer right here that you see was white. It had uh, the other person did kind of a wrap on it. They had their logo and everything, so I took it off. So I started calling around and seeing how much it would cost to wrap this trailer. Um, mind you, it's not big or anything, um, but at the same time, you know, wrapping is pretty expensive. So. One quote that I got just to go ahead and wrap it um, was about $1,800. That was just all solid black. Uh, but I have a really good friend named Johnny Lou over at Studio 7 Graphics. If you guys need any decals, uh, any type of signage, like he, he goes corporate, does all these types of things. Um, they're out here in Alhambra. Look them up. I'll put the information down below as well. Um, but he put me onto this wrap called Cheetah Wrap. Okay, so if you don't know about them, you can look them up on social media on Instagram. Um, they have it's Cheetah Rep, I believe. And what the thing is that they'll sell you a roll of whatever color it is that you want for about $400, so $399. So he told me if you're going to be wrapping cars a little bit later or wrapping roofs at least, he's like, and you want to get the practice, he's like, buy that wrap, wrap the trailer yourself. He's like, and then what we can do is we can put decals on the outside. That way, you know, your the cost for what it is that you're gonna want is gonna be way less expensive than what it normally would if I were to do a whole wrap with everything on it. Um, so I did just that. You know, I did that. I re-wrapped this side already. This is, I did this one in three, well, four, I guess, four times. So I'm getting better, I'm getting better. So I'm not gonna start wrapping cards until I'm completely convinced that I'm good. But as you can see here, it looks nice. It's a nice gloss. Um, I've actually washed it already. Um, so if it gets dirty or anything like that. But again, it's a great tool. It's, it's good knowledge because you know starting your own business, you could start getting a little bit overwhelmed of what should I do, what can I do? But you know, Johnny kind of like grounded me and said, hey, start there it'll be less money for you so what I'm gonna show you guys now is uh, the inside with this door all right so I'll be right back all right guys so it might be a little bit dark right now but I'll go ahead and take the stuff out and then I'll kind of zoom in and show you guys what I have inside um, first off let me go ahead and get some things out um, it is a little packed in there but that's okay we want that so let's see. this is a small little drawer thing that I got at Target that really helps um, I keep my tools in there um, this right here is a container that I have that has more of the gallon of, of products that I use okay um, Let's 
this right here is one of the bags that I carry. Um, I have three Rupes machines, uh, thanks to Art. So this was his arsenal, now it's mine. Um, that's another thing. You guys invest in tools that, you know, are gonna last you. Um, Chemical Guys has great products. Uh, I have the Torque, one of the Torque FX uh, that I started off with. Um, I graduated onto the, the Rupes machines. Um, I love them. The, they have a Nano, um, which kind of helps for like emblems, stuff like that. Um, if you don't know about Rupes, go ahead and look them up. They're great machines. Um, or if you like the Torque FX, um, go ahead and hit up Chemical Guys and they'll be able to show you a little bit more. All right. Alright guys, so even though it's not nice and clean, I will go ahead and show you that right there with the hose hanging around it. That's the 5 gallon water extractor slash uh, vacuum. Okay, it's really great. Um, what's amazing about this trailer is that this trailer had this little toolbox in here and that right there is a compressor. Okay, so I'm not going to lie to you guys, I haven't used the compressor yet, uh, but that's something that you definitely want to see about using. Um, in this black uh, plastic box are my mechanic tools. Um, most of them that I have in there are, are good to do any job right away. Uh, I have my snap-on scanner as well when I do mobile diagnostics. That's just another avenue of my, of my arsenal. This right here is an amazing little device. It's, it's compact, it's not that expensive, and it's great for interior deep cleaning, okay? Especially those cloth seats and everything. So, um, if you guys don't want to spend money on a huge hot water extractor, or if you don't have the budget for that, uh, this, I believe, was about $100, roughly, on Amazon, so I'll go ahead and put the link for that also. Um, and you guys can see a little bit better my tank now as you can see in here you know it's it's kind of old I haven't really done too much to it so that's why you see it look a little bit dusty dirty um, but that's fine usually it gets like this and then on the weekend what I'll do is I'll go ahead and kind of sort things out but as you can see there's not too much um, room right now with the way I have things but it fits everything okay so let me take you guys around really quick so you can see a little bit better my arsenal let me fix the exposure there you go so that you'll see are all the chemical guys setups that I do okay you see the pressure washer there the right look pro generator don't mind that Jeep tow hitch right there. You can see my gallons, my chemical guy's hat, and then a few of the other things, and I apologize for this exposure level. There you go. Um, but there you go. You know, there's not too much that you need. Um, thankfully, what I ended up doing was I ended up getting the beautiful work truck that you see right here which in turn has a lot of things under the bed that I also use okay so again you know this has been me just kind of showing you guys a little bit of what I do how I do it okay um, feel free to leave any comments below I really appreciate you guys uh, taking the time to watch this um, I will hopefully have a lot more I'll hopefully have a lot more content for you guys okay so okay guys so hopefully I'll have a little bit more content for you guys coming soon um, I do apologize for this rough edit but it was something that I wanted to just put on uh, YouTube so that you guys could see my most important thing is fight for your happiness okay if you are at a dead-end job that you don't like going to if your Mondays suck um, just like I read it before, it's not Mondays that suck, it's your job that sucks, okay? So, fight for your happiness, man. Nobody will give you the happiness that you want. Nobody knows what you want. So, go ahead and do that. Do whatever you want. It takes a while. Um, this didn't happen overnight. This ended up taking me about two years. 
but I'm finally here. I'm able to make content for you guys, and most importantly, I do what I love. Okay, I have my own schedule, I set up my times. What else could you want? You know, um, I have a three-year-old son who I love spending time with when I don't schedule anything. But at the same time, you know, work has to be there. So um, right now I'm doing pretty much seven days a week wherever I get work here and there. And I have an amazing partner that has been supporting me ever since. Um, so this makes me a lot better in not stressing out as much or anything like that. But, you know, this is supposed to be profitable and it, it is. Um, I end up making more money than I was making working my nine to five of where I worked at some great companies. But hey, you know what? The minute that I thought to myself, why am I gonna pay somebody else for me to work on their car, you know, or have me take the car to a mechanic and pay them. And I was like, why, why, should, why don't I learn that? So from that day, I had the mentality of, you know what, I gotta be my own boss. I gotta set up my own time frame. I gotta set up my own schedule. So do everything you can to get there. Um, you're gonna get a lot of people that are gonna tell you you can't make it. There's a lot of competition. Don't even try it. Why risk it? Stay with your nine to five. Hey, guess what? If that works for them, let it. But if you're like me, just put that in the back of your head and just keep going. The most important thing for you to do is set up a goal, set up a plan, but none of that is gonna be achieved if you don't execute, if you don't actually do something, okay? So make the plan, but actually do something. Give yourself a two-week time frame to get to that next goal and that next goal and that next goal. All right, so I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you, my name is Cal. I am from Blacklisted SoCal. You can find me at www.blacklistedsocal.com. I have the Instagram also, blacklisted underscore Cal. Um, go ahead and check me out. All right, leave me a comment if you guys like this, if you guys are starting a, a new business and detailing, if you want more information or if you want different types of content, I'm all ears. All right, thanks a lot.